Here I show you how you connect your T-Hub with your QuickBooks company file. First thing we need to do is to open your QuickBooks company file as an admin user of QuickBooks. It's very important to open QuickBooks as an admin user of QuickBooks for the first time so your QuickBooks can grant permission to T-Hub application. Uh, sometimes you may think that uh, you've logged in as an admin user of QuickBooks. It's always a good idea to check if you are indeed logged in as an admin user of QuickBooks. Uh, you go into the company menu, click on setup users and passwords. You go into setup users. In the users list, you should see which user you're logged in as, and it should say admin over there. Only then you know that you've logged in as the admin user of QuickBooks. Once you've verified that, you can close that screen and press the keys control and one together on your keyboard. If you press the keys control and the number one key on your keyboard, you will see this product information dialog appear on your screen. In this screen, you would see the exact version number of your QuickBooks. Here it's showing version 2011. And in the file location, you would see the exact file name of your QuickBooks company file. It's a good idea to copy this entire QuickBooks company file and right click on it and click on copy to copy the exact company file in QuickBooks that you have open. Click OK to close the screen. T-Hub will not be able to connect with QuickBooks if this screen is still open. So after copying the file path, click on OK to close the screen. Now let's go back to T-Hub. In T-Hub, click on QuickBooks company file icon. Here in the QuickBooks company file, you right click and click on paste to copy the exact QuickBooks file name that we copied from QuickBooks. In the QuickBooks country edition, you can select the country edition of your QuickBooks and the QuickBooks version, our QuickBooks was 2011. Uh, once you have selected your options, click on test connection. Now your QuickBooks will show you a dialog asking you to grant permission to T-Hub for your QuickBooks company file. You might see the QuickBooks icon blinking at the back. Uh, so this screen will show up where QuickBooks is asking you to grant permission to the T-Hub application for this QuickBooks company file. Uh, here I'm going to select yes and in the login as drop down I'm going to select the admin user. Uh, it's a good idea to select the admin user even if you are logging in to QuickBooks as a non-admin later on to use T-Hub. Uh, once you select the admin user click on continue click on done uh, you'll be prompted to uh, sync your QuickBooks data file with T-Hub. Click Yes. Now uh, T-Hub is going to sync all your QuickBooks reference data into T-Hub. Uh, things like accounts, items. Once the sync is complete, your T-Hub is ready to connect with your QuickBooks and send orders into QuickBooks.